we're in great hands, no doubt about that. Raj and the team, you know, I'm delighted, you know, we're going up the mountain with them. I wouldn't want to be going up without them, that's for sure. I mean, Raj has gone up Everest twice, which is very impressive. It's been a chaotic day, you know, you guys came in quite tired. Just really stay mentally relaxed. It's so important, this mountain, because higher up with the altitude, people do get stressed out, trust yeah. me. So the more you're relaxed about everything else, you can just focus on the mountain. That's what I really want you to do. Just enjoy the trip for yourselves, okay? Look at them giggling over there. <laughs> <laughs> Our current plan is to sit tight at high camp uh, tomorrow. If the situation changes, we'll inform you tomorrow morning. Over. Well, we've had a uh, day resting over at high camp, which is just in the 3,800 metres. Yesterday, we've had a quite a tough day. Uh, we basically went up from low camp up to high camp, which is a thousand metre ascent over steep ground. And uh, today we spent resting, brewing up, trying to drink and hydrate, eating as much as we can, because tomorrow morning, uh, first thing we plan to set off for the summit. After only a few hundred yards, it's clear that Fern, who was sick during the night, is in real trouble. Hey, Ron. Yeah, feeling a little bit sick of them, so. Yeah, sure, no worries. We'll just chill here for a bit. Yeah. That was the time. Sun's coming out. If Fern doesn't feel better soon, her climb will be over. Okay, here we are at uh, 14,200 feet. We've just walked over to a place what's called Edge of the World. And the views are fantastic. You've just got some huge drop offs either side behind this rock. And. Um, Today's a fantastic day, weather's good. Bad weather's on its way over the next couple of days, so we're gonna sit tight in our camp before we uh, head on up to high camp. You um, see the group come off the plane, if I'm already in country, you already do start sort of assessing them in a nice sort of way, trying to suss out people, trying to suss out their, their psyche, which is really important, the power of the mind. Then along the journey, there's lots of little little things you, you look at, you know, everything from people's walking styles to how they're nourishing themselves, how they're hydrating, how they're protecting themselves from the sun, how they're keeping warm. There's lots and lots of little factors, you know, little telltale signs, and you just use your experience to actually try to help them change that for the better. And that can sometimes make the difference between them actually making it to the top or unfortunately uh, becoming poorly and having to come back down. You're all here at 4,600 metres. That's good going. You're actually at the highest point now where you're gonna be before summit night. Oh, that's It's a tough night. Yeah. Um, but after today, we're gonna to be in a prime position for summit. We just remember what I said before about altitude, that um, it may not strike you down when you actually arrive at camp. Some of you can feel okay now, mm. but six, eight, 12 hours later, right. you can start getting it. So remember, this evening, overnight, it might affect you. Raj, I thought, was inspirational, to be honest. He seemed to know what we needed and when we needed it. And sometimes that was carrot, sometimes it was stick. Although we're looking good, it is actually going to be probably for some of you, most of you, or even all of you, the hardest things you've actually done physically or mentally in your lives. Raj, thanks for getting us this far, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.